Hello, Mauricio Morales. Hello, Oscar Alexander. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you? Good evening. How are you today? I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. How are you I'm doing? Fine, teacher. Thank you. Okay. I'm fine. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey, and uh, yesterday, uh, I, I couldn't be at class. So what my happened? Apologies. I have problems with my computers. Oh, okay. Okay. I see. But now your computer is okay. Uh, <laughs> More or less. <laughs> oh, so so. Okay. Uh, the, the internet is slow sometimes. It, it is but very it's, slow. It's, it's almost normal. Yes. It, no, no, no. These days, uh, well, today especially, has been very, very slow. I've been the, the, you yes. know, giving out classes, uh, you know, during the morning and the afternoon, and uh, Zoom has stopped working. Sometimes and last night, remember that last night we have a, a kind of a of a on and off uh, instant, and it didn't record. So something have something yes. is wrong nationwide. Very good, Yolanda. It's how are general. you? Yes, yes, it's nationwide. It's all over the country. Okay. Yes. Okay. All you right. Know, maybe the, the Bitcoin. And the Bitcoin. There we go. The problem maybe. is the the Bitcoin. Maybe. It's, the it's too, too low, huh? The bitcoins are too low, or it's too high. <laughs> okay. Yes, uh, I see. I think it's uh, consume uh, a lot of energy, and uh, this is the problem. It's consuming. It's consuming a lot of uh, band bandwidth. Bandwidth. A lot. Bandwidth. Uh, yes. Bandwidth. I don't know. It's energy. No, it's no, it's energia. No, but bandwidth oh. is is it. La, el ancho de la banda está consumiendo por uh, eso. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. okay. I think so. I think so. No, we could be wrong. Hi, Mauricio. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. I'm fine. Thank you. you. Very good. What happened last night? Uh, you were not able to log in into the uh, Kahoot, huh? Did you have problems? No. Uh, maybe with the time is very short for the answer it took. Ah, it was, it was too, yes, yes, I, I did it, I play it, in, and I think uh, 30 seconds, uh, 20 seconds is, is not, not enough time maybe to, to digest. Uh, maybe we should get, but if we give it uh, 10 minutes, one minute for question, it will be like uh, 10 minutes. Well, yeah, I think, uh, yes. Yeah. We can spend 10 minutes. And the answer there. was, the answer was confused. It was confusing. I think so. Oh yeah, my goodness. For me, yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, some, well. some of them, uh, I think I, I, I was, what does that mean here? Yes. Yes. Okay. Some of them. Some uh, of them. Okay. Uh -huh. And we can, we can, we can go over some of them if, if you want them. And, can, and, uh, uh, we can we can see the section the section five the work of section five. Absolutely. I have problems with it. absolutely yes yes. Uh -huh. We can we can work on the section five uh, going to be going to and uh, also the uh, simple present right. Says be going uh -huh. to the simple present yes. We can go over to I don't know we're gonna um, see if uh, all the people to log in. And uh, hi, Chrissy. Hi, Ka. Hi, Ada. Hi, teacher. Hi, uh, Rafael. Hi, teacher. Hi, Ada. Hi, Cesar. Hi, good evening. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Um, we're talking about uh, yesterday's Kahoot. It created a lot of confusion. <laughs> okay, so. My intention was not that to, to make that confusion, but we're going to try to um, unwrap whatever we need to um, be working on it. But the last two questions, it was, they were very easy, right? Bigger than, <laughs> but before, yes, uh, I think it was a little bit confusing yeah. and um, we will work on it. Okay, so don't worry. Don't worry. We're still friends. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
So let's um, let's work on the uh, chapter five. We're going to be working on the platform today. And uh, later on, um, I'm going to give you an explanation of some of the uh, um, exercises uh, from Kahoot. What was the meaning of it? And maybe after I give you the explanation, maybe you, you say, oh, okay, okay. So I know I got it now. And we play it again, right? Now you're going to get uh, 10, all of it. All right. And, um, but before that, uh, we, um, we are also, uh, we're going to be working on the, when the, um, how to uh, leave a message when, the, when you call like, uh, Raul, good afternoon. Um, I would like to talk to um, Oscar or Mr. Martinez, right? I would like to ask, uh, I would like to talk to Mr. Martinez. And Raul said, I'm sorry, Mr. Martinez is not here at the moment. Can I take a message? Yes. From that point on, I need to know if I'm going to tell Martinez to ask to ask Mr. Martinez or to tell Mr. Martinez my message, right? When a message is a request, then we use ask. Can you ask uh, Mr. Martinez to give me a call back? What is the request to call me back? Yes. Can you ask uh, Mr. Martinez to... Uh, to um, send me the money. Yes. What is the request to pay me? Right. What she, what he owes me. Okay. Quickly, please. Quickly. <laughs> and we say quickly, right? Yeah. And so, but when do you want to leave a message over the phone? You use tell. Yes. Can you tell her that I called? Can you tell Mr. Martinez that I called today? Can you tell Mr. Martinez that uh, we have a a, a meeting? tomorrow morning at eight o'clock i use tell but when it's a request i use ask when it's a request okay but we're gonna be looking into this one into more uh, detail um, later on after we take a look uh, at the uh, at the platform okay on exercises uh, on the platform uh, let's see just a second so we have uh, exercises uh, 5.4. Let me know when you see that, uh, when you see it on the screen. On the 5.4, can you see it? <coughs> yes. Okay, okay, thank you very much. Okay, so in this one, on 5. Point, uh, uh, 5, 5.4, I'm sorry, knowledge check, um, the... Uh, Instructions are to complete the invitation with the present continuous. Remember, we were looking at the present continuous yesterday. Use as future. Yes. Use the pronoun and the verb in bracket. So in this case, over here, I have a pronoun. What is the pronoun over here, Mauricio? In question one, what is the pronoun? Pronoun, pro, uh, what are, it's a, uh, well, do. Okay, Yolanda, what is oh. the pronoun over here? You. You, you is the pronoun, yes. Okay. But you is the subject. No. Okay, one what second. What are you do? The pronoun. Okay, let me, um. Let's go over the, um, we're going to do like, like a little review, <clears throat> okay, review, review on pronoun, pronouns. Okay, a pronoun is what replaces the noun. In this case, uh, if I said Raul, Raul is talking to Yolanda, Yolanda right now. La, Raul is talking to Yolanda right now. He, he is asking, asking her about the homework. Okay. So in this case, we have a noun and a pronoun. Raul is the noun. Yes. Uh, we were talking about nouns uh, last time, that uh, nouns, uh, we have proper nouns and improper nouns. Raul is a noun. Now, he, 
is replacing what, Mauricio? Uh, Raul. He is replacing the name Raul. So he is a pronoun. And uh, how many pronouns? He is a pronoun, have? a pronoun. And Raul uh, is a noun. A noun, yes. So I is a pronoun. You is a pronoun. He yeah. is a pronoun. She is a pronoun. We is a pronoun. You <clears throat> is a pronoun. And <clears throat> they is a pronoun. So these are the pronouns. I, you, he, she, we, you, and they. Uh -huh. Okay. And now, it. I'm sorry. And it. Thank you. Thank you. It. Thank you. It. Yes. It. It. Yes. It is a pronoun that that replaces a place or an animal. Yeah. Yeah. Bruno. Bruno. Barks. Barks every day. Every day. Bruno barks barks every day. It doesn't. It doesn't like cats. Okay. In this case, Mauricio, Bruno barks every day. It doesn't like cats. So what it is replacing? Bruno barks. Bruno barks every day. Barks. Every day. Barks. It doesn't like cats. Yeah. So what uh, what Bruno what it is replacing? It doesn't like Bruno Brands. No, I don't I don't understand. Okay. Bruno Branks? What, what does that mean, Branks? Barks. Barks. <laughs> wow, huh? wow, wow, wow. Barks. Yeah. Bruno not every day. Uh, Bruno pranks every day. No, he doesn't barks. like cats. Okay. Barks, yes. So, what is the question? What it represents? Uh, what? Represents the, the pronouns. The pronouns. What it is replacing? It doesn't like A Bruno. Bruno, the dog. Yeah, Bruno. We're talking dog. about the Bruno. Yes. Huh? So, so in this case, we're talking about the Bruno. He brings every day. Barks. It doesn't like cats. Barks. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. So it is replacing Bruno, which is a dog. So we use it, the pronoun it, to represent or oh, to replace a place or an animal. And yeah, that was it. Okay, so now, uh -huh. now that you know what are pronouns, now let's go back to the book. Let's go back to the page. And over here it says, use the pronoun and the verb in brackets. So the question, Mauricio, over here is, so which one out of this- What are you doing tonight? Which one out of this is the pronoun? Uh, it is you. You. Very good. You. And what is the verb, uh, Raul Reyes? Do. Do. Okay. So, and the question is uh, uh, we need to use the present continuous over here. So, what will be the answer, uh, Yolanda? Uh, the, what are you doing tonight? Yeah, what are 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 you doing? Are you doing? Doing. Yes. Are you doing tonight? Tonight. Yes. What are you doing tonight? Would you like to go out? Okay. So that will be the continuous, present continuous. What are you doing? Now let's go to the second one, Raul Reyes. Can you read the second one for me, please? Uh, 
uh, what are you doing? No, are you doing anything on Friday night? Very good. Yes. Yes. Are are you doing are you doing anything on friday night do you want to see a movie are we correct uh, rafael is this the correct answer yes it is it is right okay crisia muñoz would you like to try number three can you read it for me please okay are the three three is number three yes we are having friends on let me see we are having friends over for a barbecue on sunday would you and your parents like to come very good. Sounds very good. Thank you, Chrissia. We are having friends over for a barbecue on Sunday. Would you like, would you and your parents like to come? Very good. So we are having, we, bless you, we are having friends over for a barbecue. What is the meaning of, of, uh, we are having friends over. Oscar? Eh, como, bueno, yo lo interpreto como invitados. Eh, no sé mm -hmm. cómo traducirlo. Sí, sí. Eh, mm -hmm. Como tendremos, tendremos unos, unos invitados en una barbacoa. Algo así. Ajá, sí. Tendremos visita. Yes. Amigos, sí, 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 ¿eh? sí, tenemos correcto. visitas de unos amigos, tenemos visitas de unos amigos, yes. Muy bien, very good. Uh, César Oviedo, could you help me with number four, please? Are you staying mm -hmm. in town next weekend? Do yes. you want to go for a hike? For a hike, very good. Are you, are you staying, yes. Are you staying, 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 yes, in town next weekend? Do you want to go for a hike? Very good. Excellent. Good job. Now, part two. This one, Yolanda, can you help me with number one, please? Complete the responses with be going to. Remember, be going to. Use the verbs in brackets. I am going to be here on Saturday, but not Sunday. Let's try and go on Saturday. Yes, I am, I am going, to, going to be. Yes, going to, I'm going to be here. be here. Yes, I'm going to be here on Saturday, but not Sunday. Let's try and go on Saturday. Very good. I'm going to be. Okay, let's see uh, Mauricio Morales, try number two, please. Well, my father is going to visit my brother at college, but my mother and I are going to be, come, to be home. Yes, so my, well, my father. Well, uh, well, my father is going to visit uh -huh. my so, brother. Yes. Is going to visit my brother at the college, but my mother and I are going to be at. I don't know this. Be home. Si le falta at home. No, or, I'm going uh, to be home. Yeah, be home. I'm going to be, to be, home. You, be you, home. You can say, yes, I'm going to be at home. Yes, también. Yes, pero be home is lo mismo. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. So it's going to. Very good. Now, um, if I can have uh, somebody else to help me on number uh, three, let's see who else can help me. I have, uh, 
Okay, let's see, just a second. Walter Vasquez. And uh, Karina Jimenez. Good evening. Can you please, uh, okay. Walter, can you help me with number three and Karina with number four? Okay, number three. three. Sorry, I can't. Sorry, I can't. I am going to work over time tonight. How about tomorrow night? Okay, sorry, I can't. I'm going to work overtime tonight. How about tomorrow night? Very good. Um, Karina? Jimenez. Can we go? Mm -hmm. Can we go to a late show? Mm -hmm. I, I am going to stay at the office till seven. I'm going to stay at the office, the office till seven, till seven, right? Till seven. Okay, very good, excellent. Till seven. Hmm? What does that mean? Eh? Till seven. Hasta yeah. las, hasta las siete. Ah. Hasta las siete, yes. Es, es sure. es, till es una forma corta de decir until. Until. Uh -huh. Until, yes. Se lo ponen en una forma corta así. Aquí le falta la, la apóstrofe para, yes. para hacer till, yes. Para hacerlo que lo han hecho en con, contracted, con, contracted form. Se le falta la apóstrofe till seven. Hmm. All right. Okay, very good. So if you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, please. Teacher, in this, in this. Last example, uh, and I say, I'm going to stay. Yes, sí. Pero no es el going to, okay. ¿verdad? Pero no going to. Y como aquí estamos usando el going to, por eso le ponemos. Exactly. Yes. Uh, uh, in this case, uh, uh, I can't use uh, I'm gonna. Gonna stay, sí. Uh -huh. Pero es gonna el... stay, it's correct. Es correcto, pero no gramaticalmente no es correcto. O sea, en un inglés ah, okay. formal, en un inglés formal no es correcto. Okay, that is the question. I, I have that doubt. Okay. Teacher, can yes, I sir. see your number four? Yes, number four, right here. Can I see? Yes. But uh, the first. Oh, on the part one. Part one, yeah. Yes, right there, number four. Yeah, yes, number four. Are you staying? Ah, are you staying? Are you staying? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, staying. I have put, are you staying? No, staying. Remember, that is a, a present continuous yeah. staying. Okay, let's go to um, 5.9. Tell or could. Okay, and this one says instruction. Look at the following messages. Slips. Choose the best option. Tell or could. Ask or would. Tell or please ask a word. Okay. So number one. Uh, Karina Marisol, can you help me with number one, please? I think is the second one. Could you tell Joe yo, that is the movie at seven? Okay. Could you tell Joe? That is the movie at seven. Is that the correct one, uh, Dagoberto? I think I think that uh, the first option is the correct. The first option and the second one, why not? Uh, 
El dat, no, 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 no me parece ahí donde está. No, ¿eh? no. Could you tell sí. Joe that? Y si yo le quito el verbo, is. Can you tell Joe that the movie is at seven? That will be correct. Uh -huh. Yeah. But, the uh, movie is at seven. Yes. The movie is at seven. That will be correct. So this is the, the best one between the two of them. And it's... it's no, but the, the correct is number two, no? This one over here. Could you tell Joe that is the movie at seven? It, it's... Uh, is not written correctly because of the of the verb that is so it, it will be the correct way to uh, to have uh, written is uh, could you tell joe that the movie is at seven yeah that will be the correct way to, and but this in one, this case mm -hmm. the platform is not correct could you tell joe because the answer is number two uh -huh. Number for this, the yes. platform. Yeah, but uh, do you see what uh, what I'm, I'm showing you, uh, Yolanda? This one. Uh, could you tell Joe that is the movie at seven? Yes. No, uh, it's not uh, because I have a dog in this one because the second one is the correct in mm -hmm. the platform. Uh -huh. But but it's not correct. Yeah. Yes, it's not correct. Could you tell that? Could you tell Joe that the movie is at seven? I think it was uh, something was when whoever was writing this sentence maybe uh, switched the is, and instead of putting before Joe that the movie is at seven, put that is the movie at seven. Not even in Spanish makes sense. Si usted lo, lo traduce, podrías decirle a Joe que es la película a las siete. Eh, si le quitamos este, podrías decirle a Joe que la película es a las siete. Yeah. Could you tell Joe that the movie is at seven? Okay, so let's go to number two. And uh, I would like, um, let's see, who can add, help me with this one? Jennifer Martinez. Number two, please. It's not there. Okay, Ada Gabriela? Yes, I'm, I'm here, I'm here. I'm just thinking. Okay. Así va. La, uh, la, la plataforma da la segunda. Hmm? Second. Okay. Can you read it for me, please? Would you ask Mitch to pick me up at home around four? Would you ask Mitch to pick me up at home around four? Okay. Yes. So the first one, you see what the problem is, right? Yes. Pick, pick up me. Yes, pick up pick me. me up. Yes. <laughs> pick up me. Yes. It's pick me up. Yes. Would you would you ask Mitch to pick me up at around at home around around four p.m. or four a.m. something? Okay. Very good. Good observation. Very good. Um, Lisette Velasco, number three. Okay, she's not there. Let's see. Luis Alonso Mendoza. Yes. Sorry, teacher. Yes. Um, let me see. Vanessa, number four. Luis Alonso, number five. Okay. 
No? Okay. No. Okay. okay, just just look at the verb. Where is the verb? Mm -hmm. uh, do you say cancelled is or is cancelled? Please tell Eva the concert on Saturday is canceled. Or please tell Eva the concert on Saturday canceled is. Which one sounds weird? <laughs> ¿Cuál se escucha mal? Yes. This one, Please right? tell Eva the concert on Saturday is canceled. Okay, very good. Excellent. Next, please. Number four. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's the first. Would you ask Jim to bring the ticket for the hockey game tonight? Okay, and uh, so what's the difference between the first one and the second one? Would you ask Jim to bring the tickets for the hockey game tonight? And would you ask Jim bring the uh, they connect with who? To bring, right? That's the difference, to bring. Yes. That yes. is the, to infin bring. the infinitive verb. So this is the mm -hmm. most correct one. Very good. Number five, please. It said Luis, right? Okay. Um, uh, would you tell and the museum opens at uh, 10 tomorrow morning? Morning. Okay, so it's the first one or the second one? <laughs> the first, yes, the first. Okay, would you tell Anne the museum opens at 10 Anne, tomorrow morning? Opens at 10 tomorrow morning. Morning? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Is that the correct one, uh, Yolanda? Uh, yes, number one. But I am not sure about that, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, I think would, what we, what, would, would you tell is in the, is not capital letter, number that's two. The pro that's the but, problem. Yes, that's the problem. Okay, okay. that's uh -huh. the problem. But okay. I am not sure. Uh, well, I, I am not, I am, I don't have clear when we use that or not use that, that that is a pronoun in this case when you use that it's a pronoun that represent what you're talking about but it's optional for you whether you want to use it or not would you tell Anne the museum opens at 10 tomorrow morning is correct would you tell Anne that the museum open at 10 a.m at 10 tomorrow morning is correct too, but the only uh, problem over here is the wood is not capitalized. That's the reason why uh, this, the, is, um, this is the best and it, And the very open. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, uh, teacher, and um, mm -hmm. the, the different uh, is an uh, opens. Yes. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That's the other one. Opens is yes. in a is in a third in a third uh, uh first person singular correct correct yes museum opens museum yes. open yes okay so if we if we put this one uppercase and put the s over here that is uh, is uh, is valid okay but we have to make that those corrections to make it uh, uh, the sentence to be true. Okay, Yolanda, so very good observation. Yes, that means that the, the sound of uh, the English structure is becoming uh, clear to you. Very good, excellent. Let's see if uh, we are correct in all of them. Yeah, we got uh, 30 points. But this one, I am not, uh, I don't agree with this one over here. Yeah, could you tell Joe that uh, if the movie at seven, this this one, I don't agree. 
So to me, this is the more acceptable way of writing the sentence. Could you tell Joe the movie is at seven? Okay, just for you to know. If you write it this way, um, I'm gonna, I will go ahead and uh, report that. Uh, oh, let me see if I put, uh, if I put this one, let's see what happens. It will tell me. Wait just a second. No, no, you give it the wrong answer. But this is the this is the correct one right here. Okay. So whoever spots uh, that uh, mistake, congratulations. All right. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Now I'm going to give you the explanation about um, now what we have been talking about. Uh, also that uh, the use of ask whenever there is a request. And we're going to do some reading tonight. We have to practice some reading about the be going to and uh, um, whenever you ask uh, or want to leave a message. Okay, just give me a second. Um, the first one that we, we need to read is uh, when whenever you make a plan. <coughs> okay, can you see it, everybody? Is everybody able to? Yes, see teacher. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I need um, I need Karina and Noemi to please uh, read. Karina will be student A, and uh, Noemi will be student B. You please uh, do the reading for me. Okay, I'm a little busy, right? Yes. Uh huh. Teacher, which Karina? Uh, Karina, Marisol. Karina Marisol Garcia Avalos. <laughs> okay. Mm. <laughs> uh, I love to, but I can't. I'm going to the, a soccer match with my brother. ¿Y la primera oración? No, no se ve. You are the A, Karina. Yes. Ah, oh, okay. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I would love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay. After work, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Um, Vanessa, Oscar, Alexander, please. Okay, okay, teacher, the same. Yes, Vanessa, student A, Oscar, student B. Okay. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, after work, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Good, good job, good job. Uh, uh, Karina Jimenez and Luis Alonso, please. Good okay. morning. Good morning, Park, Park Industries. Oh, making plans. Dialogue. No, oh. making plans. Okay, okay. Making plans. Yes. Uh -huh. say, say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, 
but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Huh. Well, maybe some other time. Are you doing are you doing anything tomorrow? We call go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. Okay. So, let's go around six. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay, very good. The only uh, word, Luis, is uh, you need to work on the word could. Remember that this one, even though you, you see um, the L, the L is mute. And uh, the pronunciation for it is uh, could, like this, could. See? O, O, could, could. So... Just that is the only word that you need to work on it, okay? Other than that, uh, very good, good, uh, good job. Good uh, intonation and good fluctuation of your reading. Very good. Uh, Crisia Muñoz and uh, Ada Gabriela, please. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? It love to, but I can I'm going to soccer match with my brother. Oh well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We call Godin. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work on to five. So let's go around six. Okay, afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay, good. Okay, let's uh, um. Let's go over these words over here. This word over here is a contracted word. Um, and uh, when you read the, the, those uh, contracted words, it's not it, it's I'd. I'd love to. I'd love to. I'd love to. And um, also you have uh, problems with um, could as well. So make sure that the, the word could is it's uh, whenever you read it you read like you read the word like a c o o d could not could or cold right just uh, make those corrections and the rest of it uh, you did a great job very good excellent rafael and yolanda Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I am going to work until five. Okay. After work, maybe we can get some dinner. <laughs> okay, sounds great. <laughs> very good, very good. Excellent, excellent, excellent job. Cesar and Dagoberto Rodriguez. First teacher. Okay. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go, go bowling? I love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could, we could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So, 
let's go around six. Okay, afterward, maybe we can get some that you know. Sounds great. Very good, good job. Uh, Karina Jimenez uh, with Walter Velasquez, please. Velasquez, I'm sorry. Making plans. Yes, please. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can't. I'm going to soccer with my brother. Huh. Well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sound great. Very good. Sounds great. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Good readings. Very good. Good fluctuation. Good uh, articulation with good pronunciation, except uh, with the two incidents that we have like uh, I'd uh, and could. Those are the only two words that um, we need to work on it, but uh, not all of you. Okay. The rest of you are very good. Good reading. So this making plans, we are using the going to. So uh, we're using the uh, simple uh, continuous to make a prediction or to make a future plans. Going to. What are you doing tonight? So tonight, remember, is a, is a word that indicates time. So time expression. Very good. Excellent. Any questions about um, this uh, dialogue over here? Any word that you may not uh, um, understand or pronunciation? All of you did uh, a very good job. So let's uh, continue with the conversation. Uh, number two, can I take a message? How would you uh, take a message whenever it, uh, if the person that, uh, that they're looking for is not there? What do you do? What do you say? We're going to learn that um, uh, in, in this dialogue. Okay. And for that, I would like to uh, Rafael uh, and Karina Marisol to read this dialogue for me, please. So Karina will be a student A and Rafael student B. Good morning, Market Industry. Hello, may I speak to Mrs. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that D A L E? No, it's K A L E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2 30. Friday at 2 30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Miss Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Very good, good job, good job. Okay, and um, remember that uh, whenever you spell a word, you have to do it uh, clearly and slowly. So that's the reason why you're spelling the word because there is a confusion between gale and kale. So when you say, is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E, yeah? Because if you do it uh, fast, then if people doesn't understand it uh, either, they're going to ask you for repetition. Oh, did you say, uh, can you repeat that again, please? If you say K-A-L-E, oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't able to understand it. So can, could you please repeat it again? So it's better to do it uh, good the first time. Yeah, is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-E-L-E, -E, okay? And um, over here on the numbers, when you say the, 
Yes, it is a 646-555-4031. In North America, they use the O to represent the zero, but there's nothing wrong to say 4031, but you will be the only one saying 3040 uh, because the rest of the people will say the 40 and the letter O instead of the letter zero, uh, the uh, number zero. Okay, so very good. Uh, that's the way you do it. And um, I have uh, highlighted over here the word tell and ask. So over here is, uh, I'm going to be explaining this to you uh, about when the message is a request, use ask. And when the message is, what well, you want to leave a message, then you use tell. Over here is leaving a message. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday. So is leaving a message, but in this case, and could you ask her to call me this afternoon? This is a request. Yeah, it's requesting her to call him back. So uh, make sure that you know the difference uh, between two of them. As a matter of fact, that's what we're gonna be doing right now. Let's see. Um, let me have Cesar and Yolanda, um, would you please read the, the dialogue for me? Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello. May I speak to Mr. Mr. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that J-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please there tell her whole meeting is on Friday up to thirty. Friday at two thirty. Call you has her to call me this afternoon. My number is six four six five 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 four zero three one. Six four six five 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 four zero. Three, one. Yes, Mr. K. I'll give Miss Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay. Goodbye. Very good. Good job. Okay. Remember, I uh, could not cold, right? Cold is a C O L D. This will be could you ask? And on this one over here, on this one over here, if you want to sound more fluent, you should read this one, tell her, tell her, please tell her our meetings, please tell her our meetings on Friday, please tell her our meetings on Friday at 2.30, okay? If you want to sound more fluent, but it, it is okay the way you're reading it, it it's, there's nothing wrong, but if you want to sound more Americanized, tell her, tell her our meetings on Friday. Yes. Okay. So you you uh, you put uh, this word meeting with is together meetings on Friday. Tell her our meetings on Friday. Yes. But there is nothing wrong to say. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at two thirty. Nothing wrong. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Now, if I can have Noemi and uh, Mr. Rodriguez, please. Okay. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello. May I speak to Mrs. Mrs. Graham, please? I'm sorry. She's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G A L E? No, it's K L A L E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30? And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-40431. 
six four six five 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 four zero oh, three one. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Mr. Graham this the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good job. Good job. Excellent. Okay, Vanessa Los Angeles uh, with uh, Walter Vasquez, please. Okay. Um, good morning, Parking Industries. Hello. May I speak to Miss Graham, please? I'm sorry. She's not in. Can I take a message? Yes. <clears throat> Is that G A L E? This is Mr. Cole. Is that G A L E? No, it is K A K A A L E. All right. Please tell tell please tell her our meeting is on Friday. At through Tori. Friday at 2 30. And um, who do you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646 555 4031. 646 555 4031. Yes, Mr. Kale, I'll give Mr. Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Very good, very good. Anybody that, that who hasn't uh, um, practiced the reading, would you like to practice? No? No. Yes? Hi. Okay. Uh, who is I? I'm sorry, let's see. Hi, I'm Mauricio. Mauricio, okay. Hi. Okay, go ahead, Mauricio, and uh, and the other person. I am student A or B. You would be a B. I'm a. Yes. Oh, okay. Ladies first. Remember, ladies. First. Okay. Good morning, Parker. Industrial. Hello. May I speak to Mrs. Graham, please? I'm sorry. She is not it. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. K. Kale. Is that G L L A? No, it is K L A, no, K L L E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.13. Uh -huh. And could you ask her to call me uh, this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. Six four six five 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 four zero three one. Yes, Mr. K. I'll give I give Mr. Graham Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yes, I'll give Miss Graham the message. Yes, Miss uh, Mister would be um, Mister right here, Mister Kale. MR MS is Miss Graham. Okay. Miss Graham. Uh, okay. okay, very good. Excellent. Before we go, before we, we leave, I'm going to, um, I want to show you um, this information so you can study it uh, and have a very clear understanding. So we're, we are using uh, tell because this is very confusing and ask. Whenever we use uh, tell, to tell, this will be the uh, infinitive verb to tell and to ask. 
So two verbs that uh, are used whenever you leave a message or when you ask for a request. Um, in uh, when when the message is a request, let's see when uh, when the message is uh, a request, comma we use ask. Remember ask. We use ask. And when the message when when you want to leave want i'm sorry when you want to leave a message leaving just leaving a message a message okay comma you use tell, tell. yeah so if you mm -hmm. make the difference If you make the difference whenever you are leaving a message for um, for somebody, or if it is a request, then uh, you use ask or tell. And we have two ways of leaving a message. One is a statement. Statement. Okay. When we have a statement, like a statement would be like uh, um, uh, the meeting meeting is on saturday saturday so that would be a statement right and if you want to leave a message for example oscar if you want to let uh, oscar know that the meeting is on 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 saturday how would you say that luis alonso luis alonso not there. I, yes, teacher. Okay. I, how would you? Here. How would you uh, leave a message for um, for Karina, telling her that the meeting is on Friday? First, we use the word please, right? Please. Uh, please to Karina. Hmm. Yeah. Please, uh, the meeting is on Saturday. No. Are you leaving? The question that you have to ask yourself is Am I leaving a message or am I requesting something? In this case, are you leaving a message or you're requesting something? I think it's a leave a, a message. Uh, okay. Tell. Okay. So please tell Karina, right? Luis, uh, please tell Karina. Karina is the one you want to leave a message. Luis? Please tell. Eh, a Karina le vas a dejar el mensaje. I, <laughs> I don't know, teacher. I, a Karina le vas a dejar el mensaje. Please tell. Tell Karina. Tell. Karina, yes, tell Karina. And uh, this is what I was telling Yolanda, um, that that is optional. That, ¿qué le vas a decir? Please tell Karina that the meeting is, is, is on Saturday. On Saturday. Yes. Saturday. See? Please tell Karina that the meeting is on Saturday. Or you can use the word could as well. Could. Uh -huh. Tell. Could. Yes. Could you. Could you tell. 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 Karina. Karina. That. The meeting. The meeting. Yes. Me. 
Meeting is on very good Saturday. Or you can sure. use would. I'm sorry. Yes. But in uh, in the case of the that is mm -hmm. optional. Optional. But yes. uh, I don't. Uh -huh, but uh, what are the the word uh, in the sentences? ¿Qué, qué agrega el that? Is is yeah. el el mensaje? Could you tell Karina that? ¿Qué es that? The meeting is on Saturday. ¿Qué? Uh -huh. ¿Qué? Yes, ¿qué? Eso es lo que uh -huh. quiere decir, ¿qué? ¿Puedes decirle a Karina que uh -huh. el meeting es el, el sábado? ¿O puedes decirle a Karina el, el, la reunión es el sábado? La reunión es sábado. Sí, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces, ese es optional, that. ¿Lo podemos ahí o no? Y en el caso de would, ¿cómo diríamos? Could you tell Karina? Yes. Could you tell Karina? Could you tell Karina? Uh -huh. The meeting that, okay. is on Saturday. The meeting is on Saturday. Okay. And over here we're gonna put question mark. Why? Because it's a it's, it's a question, right? Could you? Could Both you? cases. Both Could cases. You? Yes. And, and would yes. Yes. Okay. Now let's see when if we are doing a request. This is a lot of because here say when the message is a request, we use ask. Now we're gonna be using ask. Okay, so call call me this afternoon. This is a request, right? Call me this afternoon. Okay. Um Vamos a ver a um, Marina Sanabria. Quiero que me llame. ¿Cómo diríamos eso? Call me this afternoon. Eso es el request que yo quiero, el mensaje que yo quiero dejar como un request. ¿Cómo lo diría? Please. Empezaría please. ¿Qué? Ask me. Ask. Very good. Ask quién. Marina Sanabria. Yes. Karina, right? Ah, Karina, Karina. Please ask Karina. Yes. Please ask Karina. ¿Qué? Karina. Mm -hmm. To call me this afternoon. Very good. Please. To call me this afternoon. Yes. Ya le puso aquí el please. Entonces ya no tiene. Yes, aquí. yes. Please ask Karina to call me this afternoon. See the difference? Over here, I'm using ask. And over here, I was using tell. Why? Because this was just a message that I'm leaving. But over here, I'm asking for a request. Now, what if I want to use could? Will be could. Could you ask Karina to call me this afternoon, please? Very good. Could you ask? Is everybody looking at this, Karina, to call me this afternoon? Yes. And over here, it will be please and the question mark. What about with would? Would, would you ask Karina? Karina? Mm -hmm. no. To call me, right? Would you no, ask Karina. to Karina? No. Would you ask, ask Karina? Karina. No. Would you ask Karina, you ask to, Karina. Call, uh -huh, to call me this afternoon? This afternoon. Please. Yes. And the question mark. Very good. Excellent. Now you see the difference between uh, tell and ask. When to use it. But it's better, huh? Maybe it's, it's not uh, clear enough but that we can continue um, with that uh, tomorrow because I know it's late and some of you want to leave. Okay, so very good. We, um, we were able to finish this one with uh, ask and uh, to tell and tomorrow we will continue practicing on this one, okay? 
And I thank you for be working on the platform. If you need any help, please don't hesitate to, to ask me, okay? Uh, other than that, uh, all of you have a good night and I see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.